Hello viewers, hope you all are. Alright, today, we are talking about Ethiopia conflict dynamics shift as new US envoy takes over. Coming out of Addis Ababa suggests that the conflict in Ethiopia is entering a new phase. For over a year, momentum seemed to be forever driving toward worsening violence between the federal government, its allies, and the Tigray People's Liberation Front TPLF, as well as a deepening rift between the Ethiopian government and international partners including the United States. But now the TPLF has retreated back to Tigray, and federal ground forces have declined to advance on the region. Ethiopian authorities have freed prominent opposition leaders from prison including members of the TPLF and Oromo groups that have been at odds with the government, framing the pardons and amnesty as a step toward unity and reconciliation. Late last month, lawmakers approved the establishment of a national dialogue commission that will seek political solutions to the multiple fractures in Ethiopian society. While the dialogue as envisioned will not include armed opponents of the government, it could perhaps create a pathway toward more inclusive and consequential talks. But not all the news is good. Humanitarian conditions in Tigray are as dire as ever, in large part because the Ethiopian government continues to impede access to the region. Ongoing aerial attacks on civilian targets are exacerbating the loss and suffering. Killing. Ethiopians and refugees end prompting aid organizations to suspend operations because they cannot safely do their work. This weekend the TPLF claimed that Eritrean forces were continuing to fight in Tigray, a claim that, if true, would render the restraint of federal forces far less meaningful. Meanwhile, many Ethiopians who were swept up in a wave of dubious arrests targeting human rights activists, journalists, and ethnic Tigrayan Ethiopians, whose only crime seemed to be their ethnicity, are still detained. Over the past year Abia and his supporters have used the history of U.S.-Ethiopia relations as a cudgel, pointing to Washington's tendency to overlook internal repression and abuse during the years of TPLF dominance to question U.S. motives. It would be ironic if American desires to end this difficult period led to repeating the same mistakes. Okay viewers, this is the latest news which was I talking about. Hope you like my video. Please subscribe my channel and also press the bell button it may cause a notification of my new videos in your mobile. Okay viewers be safe in your homes and take care of all your family members I will come back with a new video till then bye bye.